Introducing first out of the blue corner, training out of La Habra, California, representing Checkmat, Natalie Ribeiro! Representing Checkmat Jiu Jitsu, Natalie Ribeiro, world champion, Pan Am champion, European champion, known for her deadly open guard. Yeah, Tata had a stellar year in 2022, winning all of those titles consecutively, nearly accomplished the Grand Slam, but she lost at Worlds to none other than Janine Alebri. And her opponent, out of the white corner, training out of San Diego, California, representing Gracie Humaida, Janine Lebri! Janaina Lebri from Gracie Maita makes her return to the IBJJF Grand Prix, defending champion, also an American Nationals champion. We know her as a lapel and straight ankle lock master. Janaina had a breakout performance here at the very first Flow Grappling IBJJF Grand Prix, defeating Anna Carolina, uh, excuse me, defeating Anna Rodriguez uh, and Luisa Montero. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape of this women's match. Janaina, 27 years old, 5'2", 141.2 pounds. Natalie Ribeiro, 30 years old, 5'5", 5 5, weighing in at 139 even. And I am, I am excited to see this match stylistically. Uh, Janaina just very, very impressive as the first IBGGF Grand Prix, saying that she goes immediately for that tight right arm underhook. Look at that cross pressure. face, Ricardo. Look at that. You can see Natalie's face just like red from the pressure there. And she almost had a pass there for a second. And then, yeah, she, she sticks the, the cross face right back on the other side. Immense chest to chest pressure with the underhook. With a heavy cross brace, Johnny Unit is in a great position early here against Tata Hibero. Yeah, using that left shoulder just to drive Natalie's face to the opposite side while putting tons of pressure with her hips and her upper body, trying to get that right knee free. Just great position to be in an opening seconds of the match. Oh, absolutely, and she's starting to climb that underhook. She has no reason to rush, and yeah, the pressure is immense right now on, on Tata. Had no, not a whole lot of time to warm up no. here. Tata does a good job of uh, funneling in that, that frame on the left side, but really just kind of buying her an inch of space. Yeah. Janaina, tons of pressure, gets an advantage for her effort. And is, again, with that cross face, just using the lapel now to turn the face of Natalie away. There it is again. It's like a little wrench there just to kind of prevent her from utilizing the guard. If the, if the face can't hip, uh, if, sorry, if the face can't look towards your side on the right, it's hard for the hips to uh, kind of have an offensive guard there. It manipulates the spine. It makes it very difficult to play guard from the position when your face and chin is just being contorted to the opposite side. And you know, Janaina is, is mostly known as a guard player, but I think a lot of athletes uh, sleep on her passing ability. Let's not forget, she passed A-Rod's guard and yeah. nobody passes A-Rod's guard. Janaina doing a great job of control on top, using that left collar control. Similar to the Braguinha grips as we saw earlier with Andy Murasaki. Just a very, very strong position. But she is stuck in the half guard of Nali Ribeiro, who's coached by the one of, if not the greatest half guard player in the sport, Lucas Lage. That's a great point, Ricardo. Uh, Tata, Tata's half guard, I'm sure, is just as deadly as Lucas Lage. Lucas Lage in her corner, probably helping her make that half guard just as formidable as her open guard tends to be. And even if she doesn't use it to get to a half guard sweep, she's probably going to be able to at least try to use it to get to another a guard position, maybe open things up. She loves the spider guard, you know, open guard. So be interesting to see what Tata is able to do. But I don't know. This is going to be really tough to get out of the position of Janaina Lebri, who's just got her locked down right now. And even if Natalie is able to escape here and able to funnel uh, Janaina back into her guard, she's now spent three minutes enduring this heavy pressure that Janaina is creating. Notice the, the, weird, the elbow placement of Janaina in the armpit of Natalie. It's causing a lot of discomfort. You can see Natalie really stuck in this position. And Janaina using some sort of lapel grip on the far side, 
potentially just to anchor her down, looking to really back herself away, just maintaining that pressure and climbing up the arm as she does it so that Natalie is more and more exposed underneath the lat. Oh, that's a belt grip on her left side. And she back steps through. Looks like she's gonna score the points here. Referee's looking very closely. She's not past the knee line just yet. And she does get the points. Johnny Ina uh, secures the guard pass and looking to really continue, continue climbing this advantage. And again, look at that left elbow that's preventing uh, Natalie from trying to use that arm to recover because her other arm is trapped underneath her. Just doing a great job now, just shutting down every attempt that Natalie's trying to do to get to recover guard here. And that belt grip that Janina established before she started the pass, before she started to finish the pass, let's say, is just continuing to keep uh, to keep Tata pinned down here. It keeps that underhook on the far side that Johnny has created just anchored in there. Yeah, she, Natalie is totally flat on her back right now. This is very, very hard position to come back from. Uh, Janina now looking to get to kind of like a modified north-south, staying off in an angle. Uh, interesting position to be in. But she's got to progress. I was just going to say the referee's going to start calling her for a passivity here. So we talked about this at the beginning of the, at the, beginning of the event, but the uh, requirements to achieve, let's say, achieve passivity are much harsher. Oh, at this Janina event. go for Janina the armbar. Drops back on the armbar, but she allows room for Tata to come on top, and Tata with a flurry of pace now. What a beautiful arm lock attempt. Tata using that opportunity to escape and try to pass. A lot of scrambling going on here. She's trying to get past the legs of Janina, <laughs> she's and she's really able to get past. She's not able to score the position, score in the pass position until she gets her flat. Now going to the back wow. is Natalie Ribeiro on Janaina. She's got one hook in, looking for an attack here. She's got to be careful. She's going to slip out, and she does. Janaina back up on top. What an incredible exchange from the pass to the sweep to the near pass on the backside to the back take. <laughs> and then she just dumps her off the top. Janaina still in the lead, three points to zero, but the rest of the scoreboard nearly tied. Yeah. Four minutes, 18 seconds left in this match. Janaina in the guard, and this space is where Natalie wants to be. She's gonna look for grip, she's gonna look for that. You see Janaina hiding her left hand behind her back. She does not want to get in the spider guard really of smart. Natalie Ribeiro, yep. Really smart against the spider player. That is Natalie Ribeiro. You do not want her controlling your sleeves, but it is gonna be difficult for Janaina to engage in the passing game without uh, putting that left arm forward. Janaina's got to be careful because she's she already got one penalty. And if she keeps backing out there, that ref's going to call it. And she's got to look to progress in the position offensively, which she's sort of not doing right now. She's defending. She's got to be careful here. I love what, uh, what Tata was doing there, using her right foot to kind of hook Janaina's left leg and bring her forward so she can try to grip. But Janaina's doing that great job of defending that grip. She's not going to let her touch her left sleeve. It's a battle of inches, but you're right, Ricardo. Janaina has to start coming forward, and just on, just in time, she, see, she seems to find the pace, looking to the leg stop, oh. and again, right past the guard. An advantage there puts her a little further ahead on the scoreboard, but Natalie hanging right in the pocket. Yeah, this is a tough match. Natalie Rivera doing a great job, retaliating, trying to come back. She's looking, look where, you can see her eyes just looking for that left sleeve. Natalie hopping up, trying to make, trying to close that distance now is Natalie Ribeiro, De La Hiva, Janina doing a great job maintaining top position. Smart job by Janine to stay, to stay postured there, keep all of Natalie's favorite grips away from her, but she will have to continue this pressure forward. Standing straight up isn't going to cut it. Two and a half minutes left in this matchup. Janina ahead by three points and an advantage, but Natalie not slowing down, continuing to hunt for her grips. Janina standing upright, posturing up. Natalie does need a sense of urgency, though. Even if she yeah. sweeps Janine, it's not going to be enough. She's really going to have to uh, put on the attack and either get to back control or sweep directly into a pass with just two minutes now left in this matchup. She has no choice but to either submit or sweep and pass or sweep and back attack. She's got to connect two positions. And Janaina on the attack once again. And Natalie Ribeiro is able to get up on top and gets the two points. 
Johnny Ina in this body triangle now, starting to burn some of the clock off with 90 seconds left. Natalie has to be a little bit more urgent here. I know it's difficult in this body triangle guard, but she still needs to score. Jenny are wrapping up that, that right arm on her left side. Looking to get the legs high now, looking for that classical jiu-jitsu, shooting that leg over the head for an arm bar. The leg is over the shoulder, using it to try to reverse, teetering Natalie back and forth. And John Arena has a great arm bar. We saw a look at it from her top position, but I would, I would argue her uh, guard arm bar is even more deadly. I love what she's doing, using the lapel on the right side with the underhook and then the overhook with her left arm on Natalie's arm, just kind of like trapped in both places. It's gonna be very hard for Natalie Ribeiro to escape. And saying that, Janaina is going for it. She wants that arm. Yeah, she's got that shotgun grip on it too, so all she needs to do really is clear the head with her leg. And, uh, but Tata did a good job of getting her arms back, getting in safe, but still down on the scoreboard, 30 seconds left. She's gonna have to go for broke here. 23 seconds left in this match. Janaina up by one point. Natalie Rivera doing a great job in this match of retaliating to score on Janaina, the defending GP champion. But Janaina is about 10 seconds away. She's not stopping. She wants that arm, Corey Stockton. She's going for it again. She's getting the guard up nice and high. And she attacks the arm in the closing seconds. And she has it straight, but time will expire. What an awesome matchup. Janina Levery with an incredible yeah. win over Tata Hibero and just an insane back and forth matchup. But that is a huge victory for her. We talked about how big of a breakout it was for her to win the Grand Prix here back in November, back in October. Uh, but this match, for me, just as much uh, as, a, as a big opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. She, she showed us a new a little bit more of her game than we saw in the last GP. Saw a lot of close guard attacks here. Uh, you know, just beautiful passing, that control that she had in the beginning of the match. So dominant, in the end, gets the victory. Janaina Lebri. Your winner, by points, Janaina Lebri! Janaina has to feel really confident yeah. in this building, huh, Ricardo? Yeah, this is her new home. She might be relocating to Austin, Texas, because she's <laughs> 3-0 here at the IBJJF GPs. Amazing job by Janina Lebri. Saw the action there. She went for the arm bar. Tata was able to escape and retaliate. Almost gets to the back at one point. Just an amazing match back and forth. There it is. Almost got to the back. And then Janina was able to defend, eventually escaped. And then <laughs> Natalie comes back with two points. And you know what, that flurry by Natalie there is exactly the reason we love this matchup yes. every time it happens. But let's kick it over to the winner, Janina and Kendall. Janaina, what an incredible match. Definitely our most explosive, exciting match of the evening. Tell us a little bit about what you were thinking at the end with that arm bar as the time expired. You know, uh, she, she, she's super strong, very explosive, super technical. I was, I was trying to do no mistake with her because the last fights we did, I did a couple of mistakes and she uh, win. Uh, you know, like, I always fight forward. I always try looking forward for submissions. And, uh, you know, I, I know, like, she really good in escape. I, I try a couple times. I'm about her. She always defends. She's really good on that. But, you know, I got the win. I'm super happy with this. And you're not only our Super Fight winner tonight, but you're also our lightweight Grand Prix champion. Would you like to add anything for the fans at home in Portuguese? Uh, primeiro, I queria agradecer meu coach uh, for todo o suporte que ele me dá. É, um mês atrás, eu machuquei meu joelho e tava quase desistindo de lutar porque tava me incomodando muito para treinar. Eu não tava conseguindo treinar. Mas ele trabalhou minha cabeça bem, disse que eu poderia fazer, e eu fiz. Obrigada por acreditar em mim sempre, e por sempre estar do meu lado. E obrigado a todos os meus amigos no Brasil, minha família que está me assistindo, e meus parceiros de treino, que estão lá comigo todos os dias, me ajudando a ficar em forma e chegar bem nos campeonatos. Amazing, congratulations. 
The Tezos Flow Grappling IBJJF Grand Prix is brought to you by Tezos, the energy efficient blockchain and official partner of Flow Sports. Tezos, designed to, designed to evolve, built to empower. Visit tezos.com to learn more. Coming up next after this break, we're going to have our second